right so we found the maximum speed now what do we need to show it's on its way up show that p barely reaches o right so what is happening from this point onwards it starts going up no because this is the maximum length at that point speed is zero then because of the tension it starts going up until this point a then the stream becomes slack so then it is what it is a motion under gravity up to this point it's simple harmonic motion but at point a the motion becomes what just a motion under gravity there's no tension no? string becomes slack and this point a we know what speed is root 2 a g right so this is just normal vertical motion so we are looking at motion from a to o up so we know initial speed that that is the speed at a when we are going up is root 2 a g and the amount of distance up to o is what sc is a and we are going up so acceleration is minus g right so we'll apply what <coughs> apply v squared equals u squared plus 2 a s up in that section a to o so v squared is what we want to find u squared becomes 2 a g because root 2 a g squared then plus 2 minus g is the acceleration sc is a so what happens v squared is 0 or v equals 0 so what then what particle barely reaches o correct no velocity is 0 at point o so therefore particle barely reaches o reaches o. right then show that the total time taken by p to move from b to o move from b to o right so let's draw this b o a and let's mark the center center is uh, so this is the amplitude no, this is amplitude 4 a over 3 this is a then this is 2a over 3 right okay so what do we know we want the total time from b to o so then b to a it is simple harmonic motion then a to o uh, vertical motion under gravity So we need to find two times and add them together so let's say this time is t1 and this time is t2 t1 we can easily find we can use this data we already have this data now. we know the velocity at u uh, velocity at a that is root 2 a g so we'll use what we'll find t1 first so we are considering a to o motion and for a to o motion we know displacement a acceleration minus g and what is this uh, 
initial speed in that section is root 2 ag so we want to find uh, time t and we also showed what velocity at o is 0 so we will use v equals u plus a t to find time v is 0 u is root 2 ag minus t t1 then t1 is what root 2 ag over g o root 2 a over g right t1 we found <coughs> then we need to find t2 also then add them together to get the total time t2 is what t2 is found using simple harmonic motion so this time we can find b to a time we can find using what using the reference circle for the circular motion so the reference circle is what a circle with radius <coughs> equal to the amplitude 4a over 3 so <coughs> this is b this is center this length is 4a over 3 and then point a is 2a over 3 from the center right so we want this angle theta and we know this is the radius that is 4a over 3 so we can find alpha first because using this right triangle alpha is what tan alpha is no, not tan alpha we know hypotenuse and adjacent so then cos alpha is 2a over 3 over 4a over 3 or half so alpha is pi over 3 or 60 then theta is 180 minus 60 or pi minus pi over 3 so theta is 2 pi over 3 right so once we have that we can use the formula we know what time from b to a is given by this formula no? the theta divided by omega theta is what theta is we found 2 pi over 3 omega so angular speed is what root 3g over 2a root 3g over 2a so that becomes 2 pi over 3 this is also equal to t2 that we want to find 2a over 3g right so then total time taken by p to go from b to o is t1 plus t2 so we have both no? t1 is the time this one root 2a over g and t2 is that time 2 pi over 3 <coughs> root 2a over 3g now simplify it to get this answer so we need a 2 pi part so i will just put 3 inside here so that becomes 2a over root 27g plus 2a over g root so you have to take 2a 27g part out then 2 pi is left and from this one 
it just simplifies into what whatever they have mentioned here 3 plus root 3 times root 3 right so we have the time now the last part last part is what if the simple harmonic motion is initiated by pulling p down and releasing state how far the string must be pulled from its natural length natural length is a for this motion to happen how much do we need to pull until 3a so you have to pull two way distance so pull to a distance right so that is the answer for question number 13